hey, Bitcoin is the answer to those problems. Are you a believer? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is, is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. I think what Bill Gates means here by currency is that Bitcoin is a medium of exchange. Uh, he, he, I don't think he's talking about Bitcoin being a store of value here, which doesn't really make it a currency in the traditional sense. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So it, 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 the Bitcoin technology is key, and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. Yeah, I agree with Bill Gates. Uh, blockchain technology, or what Bill Gates refers to as Bitcoin technology, is actually very useful um, beyond just money laundering or for criminals. Uh, it is a frictionless peer-to-peer -peer network where you can transfer any good in service through um, a peer-to-peer -peer method without some kind of uh, regulatory body. And it's also very frictionless and um, it's very efficient. I have weighed in on Bitcoin. Do you own any? Uh, somebody gave me some for my birthday. Uh, and then a few years later, I thought, hey, I'm going to sell that. So no. <laughs> Yeah, the funny thing is Bill Gates probably came out a couple million dollars richer off of this transaction of selling a couple of Bitcoins that people gave him. There's some really good technology in terms of sharing databases and verifying transactions uh, that is talked about as blockchain. That is a good thing. Bitcoin and ICOs, I agree completely. Uh, it's one of the crazier speculative things where it's not, as, a, as a, an asset class, you're not producing anything. So when Bill Gates talks about verifying transactions, those are called miners, all right? And that's a great part of the blockchain network in that everybody in the network, all the peers, uh, serve to verify transactions. And that's what keeps the blockchain going. It makes it incredibly safe almost impossible to hack and it creates a frictionless peer-to-peer -peer deregulated economy. In terms of sharing databases, uh, he's probably talking about these utility coins. So things like Ethereum and what Ether is based off of. Um, it's basically creating a uh, supercomputer, uh, sharing resources, sharing technology, sharing computer, computing power, uh, sharing databases in a peer-to-peer -peer network, much like sharing music, movies, torrents, and whatnot. Uh, and so you shouldn't expect it to go up. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pure greater fool theory type uh, investment. Um, so, you know, I, I, I agree. I would, I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. That's right. Uh, Blockchain technology has a lot of value added. It will make things very efficient um, and it will provide even more security in any network. However, Bitcoin or most cryptocurrencies and most tokens are not value added. They, have, they contribute zero value. They contribute no utility. What they are are essentially um, currency to be used as fees, transaction fees in a network, okay? They have absolutely no value added. And the argument for Bitcoin is that it is a medium of exchange, but the problem is um, we already have long established mediums of exchange like Visa, PayPal, Swift, and whatnot, and they're already pretty well for us. Why should we switch over? There's huge switching costs. Uh, an argument that Bitcoin is a good store of value, well, um, it, that it's digital gold. Gold, I think, is a much better store of value because it's physical. You can touch it and people like to store things and things that they can touch with their senses.